right. Persecuted right. Hey you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am going to talk about my weight loss journey. So a lot of you guys know that are subscribed to me. I have put out this video uh, some months ago about intermittent fasting. I had lost like seven pounds um, while I was doing the intermittent fasting that first week. And I think I was on like a 1200 calorie diet. Well, I never updated you guys because for one, when I posted the video, um, you know, I got some people that was like, oh, you can't eat that stuff because I was being very honest in what I ate. And you know, you got some people like, oh, you just gotta eat healthy and all this stuff. You know, you, you get the little haters here and there. But um, it kind of like discouraged me a little bit like, um, am I gonna do this? And then the weight is not gonna fall off after a while or what? So I kind of got a little discouraged, but I didn't realize like everybody's weight loss journey is different. I don't know why I feel like my camera is a little crooked, but you know, everybody's weight loss journey is different than other people's. You have to do what works for you. And that's what I'm learning. Um, I stopped the intermittent fasting. I'm not really sure why I stopped the intermittent fasting. It wasn't just that. When you do research, you look up intermittent fasting. There's a lot of people that say that's great. I follow a group on intermittent fasting um, that a lot of these women lost weight. A lot of them just counted their calories and they did just fine and they have the proof. But then you'll go Google stuff or look at YouTube videos and they would say, if you don't do it this way, you'll never lose weight or all this stuff. It was just constant confusion. Then you look up this diet. Then people will say that diet doesn't work and you would have to do this. I just wasn't okay with just saying that I was going to eat clean for the rest of my life. Like, because I know if I don't do it for the rest of my life, then I'm just gonna gain the weight back. So that was a little difficult for me to just say that I, I felt like I was gonna set up myself for failure. Um, if I just said I was gonna eat clean cause I've never ate clean before. The only reason why I honestly gained weight was because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and it causes excessive weight gain. I was eating the same stuff when I was skinnier and I had a very fast metabolism, but now that I have the PCOS along with the insulin resistant, it's a lot harder to keep the weight off and I keep gaining. So it's harder than just say, I'm gonna eat clean or I'm gonna do a keto. I can't do that keto, y'all. I don't even have a time. I am a mother with a blended household of six kids. It is very hard for me to even find a time. And even though I have this YouTube channel, I am still working. And I'm working because I've been working for years and I can't find a time to do all of my videos on a regular basis. So I'm still at a certain point on YouTube where I'm not getting paid. Um, but that's okay because I've been getting further than what I was before. It's just very slow for me. And I am starting a hair business. This is some hair that I dyed from my hair business. It's a little messy right now because I don't really do nothing to it. But I am starting a hair business. Check that out soon for this meek Brazilian hair that I will be selling. But... I just have a lot of things that is going on and so I just know that I usually don't have time for the meal prepping. I usually don't have time for certain things to commit to it and I need something that I can commit to because if I feel like the food is nasty and it's not something I want, I'm not going to be that quick to make it in meal prep. Like that's just me. I had to find something that's going to work for me. So, with that being said, I gained the seven pounds back, of course, because I wasn't doing anything. I did start walking. Um, 
I started walking on a regular basis, but then slowed that down because I was walking, but I wasn't changing my eating habits. So I felt like I was kind of doing it for nothing. And that just didn't work for me. I then started to work out. I noticed some difference in it, but I felt like it wasn't moving quick enough because I had a trip planned and I just wanted to lose the weight quicker. Long story short, coronavirus happened. Trip got canceled. I just was like, oh, well, I ain't in no hurry. I don't know why I thought like that because I'm still want to lose the weight. But I just was like, oh, forget it. I did all that work. It just, for nothing, it wasn't worth it. Now I'm at the point where I know I need to lose this weight. I want to be healthier. I do want to eat a little healthier. Um, but I'm not going to say I'm going to completely eat clean. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a soul food type of person. I'm not saying I'm going to eat that every day at all. But I'm going to try something that I feel like will work for me. So, my husband wants to lose a little weight and I started cooking little things like wraps and turkey wraps and all that stuff and I realized it was actually pretty good. So, I am really, I've always been a, and I've always been a, like a salad girl, like I like salad, so that's nothing for me. I, I can eat a salad, <laughs> but um, I realized that maybe I can eat a little better to help the um, weight loss because I am fighting against my body. So what works for some people might not work for me because I have PCOS and that's just what it causes. It's a hormonal disorder and it causes weight gain. Like your body just be all over the place and don't wanna act right. So I don't even know if I can really truly lose this weight. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try my hardest and I know that I'm gonna have to do a little more than what I was doing in order to lose it and keep it off. So I just wanna show you guys some of the things that I'll be doing and tell you guys, not just show you guys, but tell you guys some of the things that I will be doing for my weight loss journey. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on a regular basis, whether I lose or not, I don't even care. I'm just gonna show y'all. But one thing I decided to use i realized after a lot a lot of research that it's good to detox i've always had a problem with my digestive system and i wasn't going to the bathroom a lot i've always had that problem for so long um so i realized that i'm going to need to detox as much as i don't want to because this stuff will take your day for real i need to do it um so I ended up ordering the TLC Total Life Changes. This is the original tea, and I put the name at the bottom. And I got, I don't have the um, instant packets that you put in the water bottle. I have the one that you make, boil it, and then leave it for like eight hours, and then add water to it. And you'll drink this, I think it says, morning afternoon and night cool so you take this three times sometimes you can just not add a lot of water and drink the majority of the tea and just drink like a bottle or two at night and you will clear your system out in the morning the thing that i've noticed about this though it it kind of makes my stomach hurt throughout the day. I kind of feel funny. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I kind of feel like, oh, like nauseous kind of feeling. But I haven't took it consistently to see if that is just me trying something new and somebody about to get used to it or what. But I just noticed that it just kind of makes my stomach hurt. But I am gonna do this. I don't think I'm gonna do this every day because like I said, it really, really clears out your system. First, I'm gonna try it every other day. Uh, just to see if that helps with like the nausea and stuff like that that I get with it. Everybody might not get nauseous with it. I just feel like I kinda did, but I don't, I don't know. 
I don't even know if it's the tea. I'm gonna have to keep trying and update y'all because I don't want y'all to be like, no, don't get this tea because this tea really works. So if you want to detox, it really, really works. If you just need that, this is what you have to get and just take the little side effects <laughs> if you do get nauseous because it's not horribly bad. It's just, I don't know, I feel funny. Okay, so I also, excuse my, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like yellow spots on here. I also got the Nutriburst. This is a vitamin and it smells like a vitamin. It's liquid, it's a shot. You take a shot a day. Some people take it in the morning, some people take it at night. No, I do not sell these products, so I'm not telling you this because I sell it. Um, I'm just trying these products. And you would take a shot. I haven't took one today. You would fill the cap up. It smells worse than it tastes. It kind of has a sweet taste. Um, and you drink it. I used to drink it in the morning. Um, but I think I'm just going to start doing everything at night. Trying to see what it says. I thought it says take in the morning. Shake well, best used early in the morning on an empty stomach. Maybe combined with juice, store away and from heat and light, refrigerate after open. One tablespoon daily or as directed by your healthcare professional. It's like a probiotic, it has all kind of stuff in it. So I do that. And then I got the NRG um, power on your energy pills. This is how it looks. You can take one or two capsules. It said do not take late, but it does give you energy. And I am a person that gets real jittery with caffeine. I barely can even drink Mountain Dew because that's how jittery I get. So if you guys have that problem, these are the pills you can take. It does not cause jitterness. I even take. I even took two one time, and it didn't cause that. I just realized I didn't really need to. I can just take one and it gives me enough energy. But this will give you crazy energy. I really like that because as you are like transitioning to eating healthy and um, you're detoxing a lot, your body kind of feels tired at first until it gets used to it. So this kind of gives you the energy that you need. Um, they also have like these um, drops or whatever that will um, help your appetite. Like I guess it helps you to not feel hungry. I haven't tried it. That's something I probably want to try. But I just haven't tried it yet. So that is one thing I'll be doing on this weight loss journey. I am going to be eating healthier majority of the time. When I say majority of the time... It's gonna be mainly all week. The weekend, if I have like one thing where I go out to eat with my husband, I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna pig out though. I'm not gonna say I have a cheap day because I'm not going to just pig out all day. I'm just not gonna do that. I feel like I found recipes that I like that I can still eat healthy and be okay with that majority of the time. So I don't feel like I need to just eat all the food that I like because I'm eating nasty food all week. It's not like that. So I'm gonna see if this helps. I will also be walking. Me and my husband used to walk every day, but it was only for like two to three miles. Um, it just got real hot outside. And now it's like the times that we would walk after I would get off of work. It's like 90 something degrees and I'm not willing to pass out right now. I'm just not. Y'all yeah, might be able to do that. I can't do that. I'd be out of breath. <laughs> I probably need to sweat, but I need to start drinking more water to be able to do that. Um, but we're going to try to walk at least two to three times a week. And then... Um, I'm going to be working out. I use weights. I like that better than cardio, but I do want to try the jump rope challenge. And I will let you guys know in the updated video if I actually did the jump rope challenge or if I'm going to start it later. But I feel like if I do the jump rope challenge, it's like 
every day you do more. But I think the first day is like a hundred um, times. Then um, if I do, I will update you guys. But I really do feel like I need that type of cardio um, because I usually only lift weights. I know you guys are like, oh, you gonna get buff? No, muscle is a lot smaller than fat. So I actually look skinnier just toned um but yeah so that just works better for me my main areas that I want to focus on is my arms my stomach and my butt I will also put my measurements right now in the description box um so that when I update you guys you guys will see if I'm losing inches reason for that is because with weightlifting I might not see it on the scale so I need to measure myself and make sure I'm getting smaller because um, muscle is a lot heavier than fat so on the scale I might say we used to be but I'm actually skinny I just have I'm muscular I do have a scale that um, gives you those percentages of your muscle mass and BMI and all that stuff so I'll be able to tell you guys that that's what I'm going to be doing during the week. Um, let's see. Oh, I am going to try to drink more water. I usually don't have a problem with that if I just stick to it. I just don't like going to the bathroom all the time. So I'm going to drink my water separate. This is not what I'm saying that I'm how I'm going to drink my water. No, I'm going to drink just plain water on a regular basis majority of the day. But just in case I want a little flavor when I'm eating or something like that. Um, I have this true lime and I actually like this. It just gives like a hint of flavor to your water. It's only um, 10 calories, no sodium, no um, fat, one gram of sugar. So it's, it's pretty good. Gives you a little flavor. Crystal Light, um, it actually has no sugar but I think it's sweetener in it I think this might have sweetener I'm pretty sure it does um, but it's still only 10 calories so it's not gonna be too bad so I am going to definitely use those and yeah, so I, the meats that I'm going to try to stick to majority of the time is fish, shrimp, um, chicken breast, and um, steak sometimes. That's about it. I'm probably not even going to eat that much steak. So it's mainly going to be chicken breast, fish, and uh, like shrimp. Um... Those are just better meats to eat. Oh, and turkey, and turkey. Um, that's the meats I'm gonna try to stick to. I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna eat no pork, y'all. I told y'all, um, I am a pork eater. But I'm going to, I'm just going to eat just a little bit. That's gonna be on one of my days that oh, I'ma cheat this week. But it's really not gonna be cheating, like I said, because if I eat the pork, I'm still gonna try to stay away from majority of the sides. Like, I'll make potatoes, like, actually cut them up myself. Potatoes, I love broccoli. So I'll eat more of that stuff on the side than macaroni and cheese, and I'm a macaroni and cheese girl, but I really need to cut that down. So I might only do that once a week. But that still is a big thing for me because I eat it more than that. I love macaroni and cheese. So I, if it was up to me, I'd eat it with every meal. So I really gotta cut that out. Um, in the mornings, I'm gonna try to eat like oatmeal, oatmeal, and um, kind of lower carb cereal like um, Cheerios or something like that. I think. But that's what I'm going to do. And for lunch, I'm gonna try to stick to salad, something light, something low in calories, and breakfast, I'm gonna try to stick to something really light and low in calories. If I'm a little hungrier at night, I'll have more calories to work with. 
So, big question is, am I still gonna do the intermittent fasting? I think I am, you guys. I think I'm still going to try to eat around either 10 or 11 a.m. and start my intermittent fasting then. So start my eight hours then. So I'm either gonna stop eating at six or seven. I usually cook dinner pretty early, so I might do the 10 to six or whatever. Um, the reason for that is I feel like I really consume less calories because I eat breakfast so late. I'm really not that hungry around lunchtime. And then sometimes I go straight into dinner. But I know that can be dangerous to just eating one meal because then you might consume a little too much during dinner because now you're really hungry. So I'm going to force myself to still eat a light breakfast, still eat a light lunch, and eat my dinner, but just stop eating after that time. The thing is, too, during that time, you're only supposed to drink water and tea. I need to stick to that because sometimes I drink still some juice after that time frame, and that's you're not supposed to do that. So, um, even though it worked one time with me, I just I want to really commit to doing it the right way. So, I will have my green tea. And y'all can talk about me in the comments. I can't just drink green tea and black coffee plain. I'm sorry. I do put a little bit of sugar in my green tea. I lost the weight even doing that. But I know y'all gonna like, it doesn't work. I just don't believe that a little bit of sugar is just going to kill my fast. Like, it's not. And I was still able to lose a lot of weight from it. So, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I'm still going to put a little bit of sugar in it. It's just a little bit, but I would throw up if I had to drink that plain. And I'm not a coffee drinker because I get jittery, so I can't even drink coffee. Um, hopefully, it'll get to the point where I start to enjoy water because I'm drinking it all the time. And so I can just drink water at night and don't have to worry about the sugar. Don't have to worry about y'all talking about me in the comments. None of that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. This will start tomorrow. So I waited this whole time until I made this video to actually start it up again. Well, I tried the intermittent fast in a couple days just to make sure I, I could still do it, but I wasn't like really committed. Wasn't working out, wasn't doing anything. So you guys will get the raw me. You'll probably get my husband update too, cause he'll be actually working out with me. He just wanna lose his stomach. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll be doing and I'm sorry I never updated you guys. I'm really trying to get on top of my stuff because I like making videos for you guys. I'm starting my hair company and I just kind of want to just do me. I want to get away from the nine to five job and just do things that I enjoy, do things that I'm good at. And so I will definitely be making a lot more video videos on a consistent basis and I know I'm probably I probably said that before and I'm sorry but like I said I'm juggling a busy schedule now I'm getting to a point where my kids are getting older and they kind of doing stuff for themselves and I really feel like I can make the time and I'm not working as many hours I used to work a whole bunch of hours that I couldn't I just didn't have time even on my off days didn't have time because I was never really off on my off days either so this is going to be something different please hold me accountable for this stuff give me y'all updates you know just go in the comments and be like hey Angela what's your update girl you ain't made your video yet just just let sister girl know because sometimes life just get to you and when you think a lot of time didn't pass you look back and be like dang it's time I look back and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't uploaded in two months. Like, what in the world? I can't do that no more. I'm not doing that no more. So, this is it. This is what y'all gonna do. Um, for my subscribers that are not just about my weight loss journey, they're about my hair channel. Hey, y'all. I got some videos coming. Um, 
I'm also going to be making wigs for you guys and everything to show you guys the hair that I will be selling. Um, so just please stay tuned for that. I'm still learning, so you know, I'm trying to get all that stuff together. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for all of that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep track of my um, weight loss journey. If you want to keep track of my hair journey and my hair company and all that, please click subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. Always comment down below any suggestions and I've seen you guys, I've seen the suggestions. One girl wants me to use some a heat protectant. I did order it, I do have it. So I just have not flat ironed my hair because I had this wig. So stay tuned for that video too. I am listening to you guys. I do read everybody's comments and I do try to respond to everyone. So continue to comment, continue to give me video ideas. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will check you guys out in the next video.